All right, let's create an animated GIF. Um, so I was thinking of just probably animating the donut uh, with the sprinkles coming in. I had a suggestion in one of my comments um, on my post last time on creating an animated GIF for the Articulate Rice course. So I'm going to do that. It'll be fun. Um, I There's probably many ways to design an animated GIF, but if I need to do a quick one um, using an icon that I already have or an illustration that I already have, I use two tools. I use Adobe Illustrator and then I use Adobe Photoshop to create the animated GIF. So I did a, a mock-up the other day, so we'll recreate this. I'll show you how and why we need to lay it out in different artboards. But when you're designing an animated GIF or even an animation, it's about creating frames. You can do it via frames. Um, that's how you create a movement of each of the, the, um, the animation thingies. So yeah, let's do, let's do the donut. So I'm going to create an artboard. Um, maybe 500 by 500 so we'll just change that up there 500 500 500 okay let's do it this way so we'll start first with a naked donut and then we'll have sprinkles coming in so I'm just gonna copy my donut oh. Um, hit alt, click, drag that over to duplicate the donut or an icon that you're using. You can even hop onto flaticon.com and grab yourself a really cool icon um, and export, save that as an EPS uh, and pull that into Illustrator and just pull it apart to then create your animated GIF. Okay, so um, now I'm going to remove the sprinkles. I'm just going to move it all the way to the top. Uh, let's just move our sprinkles. Moving all the sprinkles. And I'm also going to make the donut tilt left and right as well um, whilst the sprinkles are coming down. So it's like a dancing donut. Okay, so that's our first frame, um, and now second frame, just hit the Artboard Selector tool, um, click Alt, I mean hold Alt, click and drag, next, so you're creating a duplicate frame. Okay, so now the first thing I want to do is tilt the donut maybe to the right, so just a little bit. You want to make small movements, not really drastic movements like this. <laughs> so just a little slight tilt and I'm going to start putting in some sprinkles. Now because the white is probably not visible in the background, we're going to create a transparent animated GIF. So I'll probably just do... I'll just add one white there. I'll drop purple, red, I'll probably make that sit on top of the stroke. Um, let's do a yellow. Ah! Whoops. We'll do that. There. Oh no. Now it looks like the white one. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Um, and maybe I'll add another white one down here. Cool. Okay. So now you take your um, artboard selector tool. Again, we're duplicating this board. So we're creating like um, an onion skin. And that's a term in the animation world where you keep the previous frame the same or as a guide. And then you create another frame or animated section on top. Maybe I'll do an After Effects tutorial in the future as well. That'll be fun. Okay, so now um, I'm going to move these sprinkles down because we've already put them in the previous frame. 
Um, so going to my selector tool, I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to pull this sprinkle down here and add more sprinkles. So I'm going to put my blue one here. I'm going to grab a blue there, maybe put some purple in, yeah, now I'm going to create another frame, so using your artboard tool or shift O, hold alt, Click drag. Now we're moving our blue sprinkles down. Move this one down here. Gotta just switch it around. Maybe the purple one goes down here. Okay, I'm gonna do maybe two more frames. Because who doesn't like lots of sprinkles on their donuts? Yum! Okay, so let's do maybe just a white one like that. Red over here. I'm gonna add a green there and maybe a blue like that rotate it a bit maybe I'll add a purple one like there and then yeah so now I'll do one more frame six frames one two three four five six yeah okay so now we will just drag all of the sprinkles onto your donut wherever there's space mm -hmm. I'll probably make that one small then oh, drag that down <gasps> you know what I forgot to do? Tilt the donuts. Okay, so this one was tilting to the right. Let's tilt this one back to the left. Oh my god. Select all. Unselect those sprinkles. This is why grouping your illustrations is so important and I forgot to group my donut. So I'll just have to do it manually. Tilting it to the left. What is happening? User error. Oh no, I'm sorry guys. You're going to have to sit me. I mean sit here and watch me. And select all of my DM sprinkles. What? Why am I missing all of my stuff? I'm going to edit this section out. <laughs> okay. Let's move all of our sprinkles down. We'll probably make them small so they fit in the donut. And also, just to give it some like contrasting in sizes and shapes. Keep that there. Put one up there. Maybe add some more white ones down here. And another one there. Maybe I'll make that blue. So I drop a tool, make that light blue. And maybe I'm gonna add another blue here. But like a small one. That looks good. Um, what I'm going to do now is tilt my donuts to so it's like dancing. 
Um, I'm just going to select my base donut like that and I'm going to rotate. You don't have to tilt your donuts or your icon or whatever you're using. I just like to create a bit more movement in the animated GIF. So now that that's to the left, it's going to move back to the right. Whoops. So I'm going to do it for this one as well. Let me just move back that way a little bit. And for this frame, I'm just going to move it to the left a little bit. And then here, I'm going to move it to the right. Oh, well, it's already there. Okay, we'll keep it as that. All right, so the next thing you need to do is export your frames, export your artboards. So if you go into, what artboard is that? It's number nine. Oh, I'm not wearing my glasses, guys. I can't see. I don't know where they are. Um, file, export, export as. Oh, look, I already pre-made some donuts there, but let's do version two donuts. Donut V2. So artboard, use artboards, number nine to number 14. So we do 9, 2, 14. And then export. And OK. Great. Let's hop into Photoshop. So going into Photoshop. Photoshop. Let's open that. And you want to create a um, an image. My brain just farted. One second. Let me just open up Photoshop. So many donuts. Okay. So, create new um, and do a, a board of 500 by 500, which is what you've set in your Illustrator artboard. So, it's consistent and the same. And click create. Okay, so what I'm going to do is before you create the video timeline, that's how you create the another GIF. I'm just going to go file, um, open. I'm going to open up my computer and I'm going to get my number nine. Oh, maybe I'll just create it based on this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is poor design practice, but I'm a lazy designer, so meh. Um, so you've opened up your first base donut. Create video timeline. Click create video timeline. I'm going to reduce that frame down to maybe here. And what you want to do is in that one layer, have all of the frames next to each other in short seconds. So I usually create like a three to five second animated GIF. So just make sure you space out those five seconds for six frames, if that makes sense. So all you have to do is just click plus, add in your second one, which is V2 number 10. And I'm going to scale that down, making sure that I'm giving it the same amount of time as I am the first frame. Number two, look, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this is how I create quick and easy animated GIFs. Uh, and then three, four, to my fourth frame, adding that in. And if you want to snip it to see what the animated GIF looks like, you just got to press play. Okay, so now see how it's quite long in terms of the time frame. Let's just scale the frames down a bit so it's a bit quicker. Because no one wants to sit there and watch a very slow animated GIF. You want it quick, easy, engaging. Alright, so let's press play. There you go, that's a bit better. Right, the sprinkles are coming down. Um, let's add in our two other frames. Uh, that's number five. 
And let's drag that down. Whoop. And then the last one. And then just pull that down. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, eyeball it. You'll be fine. So let's hit play. Nice, I like it. All right, so now let's export this. So you go File, Export, Save for Web. What you want to do is you need to make sure that the drop down is on a GIF. I think by default it's set to PNG, so make sure that you have that set to GIF. Um, I like to have it transparent, so if you want it. If you want another background color, you can always add that in in your Illustrator file and export that over. But for me, I like to keep it transparent so I can lay it over in different things. Um, making sure that the looping option is forever. And then just save as. Save as. Do not need to. And save. And that's it. So let's check out our animated GIF. Um, let me just open that up. Oh, where did I put it? Where did I save it? I don't know about you guys, but my filing system is horrendous. Um, got it. Oh, it's like super quick. I like the first one that I did more. Where is it? Boop. This one's better. Anyway, play around with it. This is one that I created last night. Um, but yeah, that's how you create an animated GIF using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Hope you enjoy. Bye.